hello everyone you are welcome in this video i'm going to solve and find the value of this interesting exponential math problem without any calculator and without any standard multiplication which is 9 raised to power 9 minus 66 so how can we solve this math problem here first of all we can write this number 9 as this can be written as 3 square whole to power 9 minus 66 and in this one number we will use the exponential identity so here in the first number we will use this one exponential identity we can write a raised to power m whole raised to power n as here we can interchange the powers so this can be written as a raised to power n whole raised to power m so using this exponential identity here we will move this two out and this now inside so this will become this will become 3 raised to power 9 whole raised to power 2 minus 66. So next we can write this 9 as 3 raised to power 9 can be written as 4 plus 5 which is 9 whole square minus 66. Now here in this one number we will use another exponential identity and we will split these two powers for 3. So this will become 3 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 5 whole raised to power 2 minus 66 and we will try to find out the value of 3 raised to power 4 and 3 raised to power 5 so therefore we can write 3 raised to power 4 is it means we have to multiply this base 4 times so 3 times 3 is 9 9 times 3 is 27 27 times 3 is 81 so the value of 3 raised to power 4 is 81 Next, we can write 3 to power 5 as this can be written as 3 to power 4 times 3 to power 1 or simply 3. 3 to power 4 is 81 times 3. So, we multiply these two numbers. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 4 8 is 3 times 8 is 24. So, this is 243. So, the value of 3 to power 5 is 243. So, we will replace these two numbers with 81 and 243 here. So this number will become the value of 3 to the power 4 is simply 81 times the value of 3 to the power 5 is 243 whole square minus 66. Now we will try to multiply these two numbers with each other and then we will take square over that number. So we will multiply these two numbers here 81 times 243. But we can write this 243 as the sum of 200 plus 40 plus 3. Here we can easily multiply this 81 with these three numbers. So here first we multiply this 81 with 200, then with 40, and then in last with 3. So let's multiply this number with 200. It is very simple. 81 times 0 is 0. 81 times 0 is 0. 81 times 2 is 2. Times 1 is 2. And 2 times 8 is 16. So this is 16,200 plus let's multiply this with 40 so 81 times 0 is 0 81 times 4 is 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 8 is 32 so this is 2 3 this gives him 3240 plus let's multiply 81 with 3 3 times 1 is 3 3 times 8 is 24 so this gives him 243 now let us add up these three numbers so this is very simple here 3 plus 0 plus 0 is 3 4 plus 4 is 8, 8 plus 0 is 8, no 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, next is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9 and 1. So the addition of these three numbers gives him 19,683. So the value of the product of these two numbers gives him 19,683. So we will replace this number with this value. So this equation, this number will become, here this is 19. 1683 whole square minus 66 and we will try to find out the value of this number having square so how can we find out the value of this square number so next we can write this number as the sum of the difference of 20,000 minus 370 whole square minus 66 now finding this value is very easy as compared to finding the value of this. Now here we will use an algebraic identity. 
a minus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times a b so using date identity here we can write this as this will become a square so a is 20,000 this will become 20,000 whole square plus b square b is 317 whole square minus 2 times a b you know 2 times a is 20,000 times b is 317 minus this one number 66 now here what is the square value of 20,000 here 2 square is simply 4 and there are 4 zeros so we will write these 4 zeros 2 times so there will be 8 zeros so this will become plus sorry I write these 3 zeros extra so there are 8 zeros so this gives him 400 million Let's now we'll try to find out the value of this one number 317 square so therefore we can write 317 square as this can be written as 317 times 317 and this number will be the same 317 times and this can be written as the sum of 300 plus 10 plus 7 now let's multiply this number with each number here so this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 3 is 3 times 7 is 21 so 1 2 is carry 3 times 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 and 3 times 3 is 9 plus let's multiply this number with 10 so this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 1 is this one number so this will become 7 1 3 plus now let's multiply this number with 7. So 7 times 7 is 14, 9. 9, 4 is carry. 7 times 1 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. So 1, 1 is carry. 7 times 3 is 21. 20 plus 1 is 22. So this gives us 2,219. Now let us add up these three numbers. So 9 plus 0 plus 0 is 9. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So this is 4 next is 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 5 is 10 0 1 will we come here at 9 plus 1 is 10 so here the sum of these three numbers gives him 100,489 so the value of 317 square is 100,489 so we will replace this number with this one value so this is 100,489 minus here we have to multiply these numbers so here 2 times 20,000 gives him 40,000. So this will become 40,000 times this one number 317 minus 66. So here first we will add up these two numbers. So here 9 plus 0 is 9, 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 0 is 4. Next is next are two zeros, so there will be two zeros next is 1 and next is 400 minus and we have to multiply these two numbers so this is very easy this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 this number times 0 is 0 and this number times 0 is 0 no this number times 4 is we have to multiply this number with 4 so let's multiply 4 with this number 4 times 7 is 28 so this is 8 2 will be carried 4 times 1 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 now 4 times 3 is 12. So this gives him 12. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 12 million 680,000 minus 66. So here this number will be the same. 100, And here we will add up these two numbers. So here we will write the negative sign and let us add these two numbers. So this gives him 6 plus 0 is 6, 6 plus 0 is 6, 0, 0, 8, 6, and 12. So here the addition of these two numbers gives him 12,680,066. So negative this number, negative this number gives him negative of this number. So finally, we will subtract this number from this one number. So that is again very easy. Here, 9 minus 6 is simply 3. 8 minus 6 is 2, 4 minus 0 is 4, no, next is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, 0 minus 8 is not possible. So we will give 110 to this one number. So this will become 10 and this will become 0. Now 10 minus 
8 is simply 2. So this is 0. 0 minus 6 is not possible. So we will give 110 from this board to this one. So this will become 10. So 10 minus 6 is simply 4. And this will remain 9. This will also 9. And this will be 3. So 9 minus 2 is simply 7. No, 9 minus 1 is simply 8. And this is 3. So here the subtraction of these two numbers gives him 387 million 420,423. So finally, 387 million 420,423 is our answer and value of this interesting exponential math problem.